Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to be going over some sample work that will help with part two of your fourth quarter quadratic function baseball task. All right, so part two is going to be heavily connected to part one in the sense that we're going to be using the home runs that we found in part one. So recall that Michael Conforto did hit a home run, where Cespedes we found did not. And you can pick any three parks you like here. For your testing process, we're basically going to be checking if these would be home runs in other parks. I'm going to pick Boston, New York Yankees, and New York Mets as my three stadiums. You can obviously pick any three that you like. And note that every stadium here has different dimensions. So the important thing is noticing that when we talk about distance, that's our X value. That's a horizontal distance, whereas height for the Red Sox here, it's 37, represents our Y or our H of X value. So basically, I'm going to plug in 310 to Conforto's function. I'm algebraically going to show how this is done. We're basically testing, will it clear that 37-foot wall? Where will his ball be hit at 310 feet? Or how high will it be in the air at 310 feet horizontally? Um, algebraically here, we do want to be careful with you know PEMDAS rules and making sure that we don't make any algebraic mistakes. Graphing calculators can obviously be utilized. So what we find is that at 310 feet, the path of Michael Conforto's ball is actually only 27.55 feet in the air, meaning it would not clear the wall. It would be hitting off the wall at some point. So this would not be a home run in Boston. And I'm going to go through the same process for the other two stadiums. I'm evaluating that X value to test how high the ball will be in the air. So for Yankee Stadium, notice we have a shorter wall, it's only 8 feet tall, so I'm plugging in 318 for x into Conforto's function. Once again, we want to make sure that we're doing that subtraction in the parentheses, then squaring it, then multiplying it, or just simply type in the entire function um, into your graphing calculator at once. So if we evaluate 318, we get 23.1. Now, being that 23.1 is greater than 8 feet, this will clear the wall by a lot here, meaning that this would be a home run at Yankee Stadium. And remember, this is all connected to Part 1, where we were testing Marlins, or the Marlins Stadium, um, and the two trajectories between Cespedes and Conforto. So if you didn't already, please watch Part 1, and you'll realize where these functions are coming from and how we knew Conforto was a home run. And the last one that I'm going to be checking is City Field, the New York Mets, where these two players traditionally play their home games. We, in part one, checked an away game at Miami or in, at the Marlins Stadium. Um, so I'm going to be plugging in 335 for X here and see what my output is. I get an output of approximately, we want to make sure it's going to clear that 12-foot wall. If I plug in 335, I'm just going to save some space to write my answer. I get 12.8. So just barely, but this does clear the wall. Since 12.8 is greater than 12, the height of the wall, this would be a home run at City Field. So we tested our three stadiums. You're going to choose any three you like. I just happened to choose these three. And in conclusion, based on our algebraic work, evaluating the X values, we found that Boston was not a home run, the Yankees was a home run, and the New York Mets or City Field was also a home run. So this is part two. This is probably the quickest or most kind of to the point um, of the three components of your project. Part two is rather brief, but it's important to know what you're doing here, making sure that you're plugging in the horizontal distance. It's going to be something in the 300s for every stadium. In for X, and you're testing if the output, the Y value, will be greater than the given height or Y value of that particular stadium. If it is, you know it's a home run. If not, if it's anything less than that height, you know it's not a home run. Thank you guys for watching, and hopefully this will help for part two of your quadratic function project.